Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4. I am your host, Final Dream, and we're here at the Cambridge Police Station. You must have spent a whole case of ammo this site. I suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on oh. this place now that Liquid's in town. What was that? Right, I want to deselect these for now, or the extra ones, because I'm just going to focus on Brotherhood for a little while. Cavalry's and it looks like they sent in the big guns. The Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance. There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Great. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? Man's a lunatic. Maxon is the no one asked for your um, the input. Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Okay, um, but yeah, I got other Describe things to take care of first. How's the tech recovery going? Find it yet? Caught you that... thinking there, didn't I? Here it is. Good well, if you didn't walk Here's away... Nothing like a successful mission. I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. Report back but... to me when you're ready to head out again. Um... Affirmative. Affirmative. Good. I mark the location on your map. Stay alert. It'd be a super mutant. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, if you're insulting me, I'll shoot you in the head. I can't believe I'm stuck babysitting the police station outpost. I can't believe I haven't shot you yet. It can be so hard to find good artifacts these days. Ones us scribes can actually glean information from. It's always worth it. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I am definitely doing that. Ooh, I leveled up. Cool. And we'll do that. Nice. And we don't need any more ammo right now. So, we leveled. Let's see, where is... Awesome. If you want to impress me, complete the op I gave you. Otherwise, we have nothing to talk about. Fuck, what op did he give me? Don't care. Don't care. Yeah. We'll get to that shortly, I'm sure. Oh. Didn't realize I had to listen to that. Crapola. I might have left that area too soon. Uh, not quests. Miss. So I did leave that area too soon, it looks like. Um, oops, no. Yeah, um, whoops. 
Can't wait to see what you bring back. The location uh, sounded very promising. All right, uh, roof, roof, roof. And don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. Yeah, uh, you may, we both may be initiates, but um, I'm better than you, so don't talk to me. How the hell do I get to the roof? God damn it. I can't remember. Oh. Oh shit, did I miss that before? I am so sad I missed this area before. If it was up to me, I'd take every barrel, muty, and scent and shoot Have them you ever space. fired a mini gun? Choose through ferals like paper. You guys are, um, pleasant to be around. Wait, do I have to go outside to do the to go on the roof? Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside. How do I get up there? Pretty sure I'm about to go postal. Oh. <laughs> this is so sad. I swear I've looked everywhere already. Watch, it's gonna be like really like right over here. God damn it! The human-looking scents are the worst. They hide in plain sight. I really should not have brought Nikki here, should I? I don't know, maybe we're about to get a new companion worth looking at. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd still wait for the barrels. Yeah, they they've done a number on me, that's for sure. Ooh, do I get to use oh excuse me guys. Oh that minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Oh my god, guys. Properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. Son of a bitch. Something's shooting. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, <coughs> our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now we have to do is find them. You're not going to let me get wood in edgewise. Elder Max will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Is this everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't Probably. realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in Mortal danger. They've probably been brainwashed by the Institute. For the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. I love how Nick is just sitting there listening to this talk about the sense in the Institute. Final approach to the airport. The Predwin should be coming into view just ahead. 
We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. I will consider it a possibility. How the hell did that happen? I kind of really want to shoot it. But who knows, maybe it's actually peaceful. What the fuck? No, 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 go more to the right. I want to see what that was. Ah, y'all are bastards. Yes, I just wanted to shoot the gun. Oh, that's a building. Okay. That's kind of boring. It looked like a giant robot or something. It was really... What if I start... No. Uh, sorry if you guys heard that. That would be Facebook. Who was it? All right. It it's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Ooh, look, another vertebrate. <laughs> oh, we'd so get shot down in a heartbeat. They just flew through. The okay. Right. Yeah, from this angle, it actually looks like I might be flying. <laughs> oh my god, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah? Okay, okay, ask. Ask. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Why do you ask? I just had a hard go with the uh, transition myself. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter, gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Very sad. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her wow. home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up I in mean, the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Kind of hard to be a spy when they already know who and what you are. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute, can you hear me? Well, if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't yeah. have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Our part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Uh. Was it hard settling in? Wow. Sure didn't make it easy. I like Nicky even more now. Doing the jobs no one else wanted. 
I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. So that's she how you became a detective? a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. Oh, I'm happy for you there, Nicky. It took a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. Not I hope so, Nick. story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're not going to have time for this conversation, and this is my last recording for the today, so... Hmm. Excuse me, guys, sorry. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode.